Hello! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the SAZE mask tool in Micmac in order to make your own image masks. So the first thing I'm going to do is navigate to my data, make sure that I know how to type that in. Okay, so in here you can see all of the different images. And the first thing that I'm going to do is type in the name of the tool down here, which is MM3D SAZE mask with a Q and then QT. And then I'm going to add the name of the image that I want to create a mask for. And you're going to use whichever image you like. They should all have the same, uh, the same size, so this should work for, for all of them. Uh, so I'm just going to pick the first one here and I click enter and the window should open up. Okay, and you should see now um, this sort of image, uh, maybe it's not the exact same, but you should be able to see all of the different fiducial marks around the edges of the image as well as some text and this is what we want to tell Micmac to avoid using. And so I'm going to very quickly uh, so you can click anywhere on the screen and you should see that it starts to digitize a polygon. And I'm going to just very quickly draw something around here uh, that gets rid of these. Uh, this is definitely not the way that you should do it. You should take a lot more time and effort to make sure that you're not cutting out large chunks of the scene. Um, but this is just to illustrate the process for you. Really good job. Okay, so once I have done all of that and gotten back to sort of the beginning, I can click, I can right click my mouse and that should close the polygon that you can see here. I'm gonna go up to mask edition and select add inside to mask. And you should see that everything inside of the polygon that I have just digitized turns green and everything outside stays the same color. Uh, once you've done that, you can select Save Mask from the File menu, and after a moment, you can exit. Okay, and once you've done that, in the folder, you should now see that there is a file called uh, whatever the image that you used was, underscore mask.tiff, and you're going to rename this from whatever that name is to filter.tiff, that's F-I-L-T-R-E dot tiff, and that is the file that we will use in the rest of the processing steps. I hope this was helpful. Uh, thanks. Bye.